Hello friends, in this video I am going to discuss one practice question on periodic sequence, okay? Because uh, knowing the theory and applying it in a particular uh, question is two different things. You should practice to solve uh, numericals in obviously lab exams because uh, in lab exam they will not ask you any theory, they will ask you to perform certain tasks. So that let us try to understand how to solve questions related to periodic sequence and how questions may be formed based on periodic sequence. Already in my previous video, I have discussed how to form a periodic sequence from a fundamental uh, sequence in MATLAB. You can check my previous video. I will post the link in the description. So let's discuss. See, here x cap of n equal to dot 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 5 4 3 2 1 5 4 3 2 1 5 4 3 2 1 dot dot it is going on and from minus 10 to 9 you have to plot okay so n equal to minus 10 less than equal to n less than equal to 9 that is uh, minimum is minus 10 maximum is 9 you have to plot this sequence by just reading the sequence you can understand that this is basically a periodic sequence but the fundamental period or fundamental sequence is basically only this part 5 4 3 2 1 because this part is going to repeat throughout the whole range and it is making the original periodic sequence x cap of n okay now you know already how to write code for a periodic sequence from my previous video now let us try to understand how to write for this numerical see there are certain steps you have to follow first step is identify the fundamental sequence the fundamental sequence is 5 4 3 2 1 which is going to repeat the fundamental sequence from where to where see here arrow is given right that means this 5 is corresponding to n equal to 0 right so n equal to 0 1 2 3 4 that is from n equal to 0 to n equal to 4 this is the duration of the fundamental period and it is going to repeat throughout this region from minus 10 to 9. Now next stage is if you already have seen my previous video then you might know that if you want to draw periodic sequence you should know how many times this fundamental sequence is going to repeat to make a complete periodic sequence. Now see the fundamental sequence length is uh, as n is 0 to 4 the fundamental sequence length is 5 that is we can say in this way capital n or periodicity or fundamental period for this uh, periodic signal is 5 because it is 0 to 4 the fundamental sequence span is from 0 to 4 so obviously n capital n equal to 5 now how many times this fundamental period should repeat to cover the entire zone which is mentioned in the question so first step is determine what is the length of the zone there is minus 10 to 9 that means suppose minus 10 to 9 it is our zone right minus 10 to 9 how many small n are there correct 21 21 uh, 10 sorry it will be 11 sorry 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 one second i will explain later Mm. So minus 10 to minus where is the mouse? Yeah. So minus 10 to minus 1 uh, that is uh, see minus 10 to minus uh, to 9, right? Minus 10 to plus 9 it is repeating. So obviously the sequence length, what is the n value? That is uh, uh, minus 10 to 9 minus 10 to minus 1 that is uh, minus 10 to minus 1 if you consider minus 10 minus 9 minus 8 minus 7 minus 6 minus 5 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 and 0 that is 10 and uh, so minus 10 to 0 this sequence length is 11 right and from 1 to 9 this is again coming as 9 times, right? So, total sequence length is 20. Have you understood or not? If you have not understood, better to write, okay? If you have not understood, uh, unable to take minus 10, minus 9, minus 8, minus 7, minus 6, minus 
5 minus 4 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 and 0 then again it will start from 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 that is minus 10 to 9 now so now count what is the uh, no, how many numbers of n is there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 so basically from minus 10 to 9 obviously you can understand by basic concept also if you uh, go via logic also then in this way you can get small n is 20 that is our original fundamental sequence length is 5 and we have to cover the length of 20 that means 20 divided by 5 is how much 4 that is 4 times the fundamental sequence should repeat okay 4 times the fundamental sequence should repeat you should understand this you should uh, make out this uh, how many times uh, uh, the uh, fundamental sequence has to be repeated to cover the region and uh, if you work out you will get Four. Okay. Now we are ready to go to our code, right? So let us check. So let me go to code directly. So first step is write the fundamental sequence five, four, three, two, one, and corresponding n is zero to. We can write in this way also length of x minus one, or you can write zero to. 4 also no problem now stem n comma x next step is j equal to c the fundamental sequence x has to be repeated four times so x x x x or if you don't want to give space better to give comma in this way also you can write now m is minus 10 to 9 right same m comma z okay now for drawing in a single window subplot 2 comma 1 comma 1 uh, okay and here it will be subplot 2 comma 1 comma 2 next step here it will be x level what is x level time sample y level is amplitude next sorry semicolon next title is what is the title uh, periodic sequence P periodic periodic sequence now just copy this and paste it here and just change this is fundamental sequence right fundamental sequence okay i hope the code should run let us check control a evaluate selection so let's check yeah without any error it the code has simulated and see try to understand this see our question was we have to make such kind of a sequence minus 5 minus 3 minus 2 minus uh, 1 minus 5 minus 4 minus 3 sorry sorry 5 4 3 2 1 like that from minus 10 to 9 right so let us check whether it is making our condition or not see minus 10 to 9 it is plotting, uh, plotting. at 10 it is not giving any value that means minus 10 to 9 only it is plotting and see minus 5 minus 4 minus 3 sorry 5 4 3 2 1 then again 5 4 3 2 1 then again 5 4 3 2 1 then again 5 4 3 2 1 so this is how you can make the periodic sequence from the fundamental sequence and the questions can be formed in this manner okay so basically they will give a certain range 
first step is you have to work out how many times the fundamental uh, period should be repeated to get or to cover the entire region okay so this is what the matlab code is i shall post the link in the description also if you uh, need uh, some help you can check there and don't forget to check my previous video where i explained how to plot periodic sequence in detail i will post the link there also thank you for watching